So I watched this Oteryx video uh, doing the Dawnblade skate out in this water area. I was like, I want to try that. But, uh, well, you'll see. Nice feel if we get to start out the video with. Anyway, here's the redemption. Anyway, I've been messing around a bit with Dawnblade, just here in patrol, trying to get used to the new jumps and various things, so I'll share some clips with you and try to be some, I guess, a bit of a tutorial. Just on, uh, more so on Wings of Sacred Dawn, kind of how it works. But here in these first clips, I'm just trying Burst Glide out. I'm uh, just trying to show the differences between it and Strafe Glide. That this is definitely a yeah from point A to point B, really quick, lots of quick momentum. I mean, pretty self-explanatory by the name, but this uh, feels a bit more like the old Titan catapult to me. But with all the characteristics of the like D1 burst glide, uh, I like it. Here I'm trying just aiming at the ground, kind of like I did in D1. Works pretty well going forward. Trying some different directions. It is okay to the back and to the side, but it definitely seems best going uh, forward. With a you know, Titan and Warlock, you can kind of keep your momentum going, turn around sideways or backwards, and still keep that momentum, but not as much in D2 from my initial test here. And here's just doing a one more Warlock Super with the first glide, just for fun. And here's the King of Sacred Dawn stuff. I didn't realize how long you could stay in the air with this thing. I don't know if it's always been this long of a duration or if it got buffed at some point, but it's just uh, it's a nice fun novelty. We'll teach them not to dig around here. I have full confidence in you. Do they still think they can outrun us? Has our names all over it. Let's try out the uh, uh, skill tree with Phoenix Dive, trying to see how much super energy it gives back, and hopping around with Burst Glide, just trying to get used to it. Not very uh, used to it yet. But hey, that's why I practice in PvE. What I really wanted to do here was just toy around with the boss guy here, just to try and float around. I take note here that I'm still getting the benefits of Healing Rift. So if you had somebody with the faction boots under you, you could have them refill your sweet business for you. I'm lazy and just wanting to do this post comb in a single well take, so... Yeah. Anyway, here's uh, where I'm working on the Wings of Sacred Dawn with the Tomb in the Sky and all the different ways you can do this. Uh, lots of little like combos and I guess just niche circumstances you have to account for here. It's really... You know, apply it as best you can. So here I'm showing that you, know, you can fire your gun without stopping your glide. You know, it's pretty standard. If you ADS, 
you hover with the Tomb of Dawn effect. And if you quickly zoom in and out, uh, it constantly reprocs the buff, unlike Angel of Light in D1, which only worked one time and then you had to hit the ground again. This allows you to stay in the air for a very long time. Showing that you can do the Twilight Garrison, make your stash thing, uh, it, you know, and still use Angel of Light type effect, or Wing or Tome of Dawn, whatever it's called. Alright, showing that if you are on the ground ADS and you hit the jump, that you actually don't use the Tome of Dawn effect and you instead use the the one in the Atuma in the Sky Tree. Just look how quick you can move around with Strafe Glide. Not the most accurate thing in the world, but you know. Be decent at close range with an SMG or something. Or with Swift Strike. Try and I don't know if I'm doing it yet or not in the video, but I'm trying to show that you can start ADS to have your momentum, and then rescope to go ahead and hold your position with the tome effect. Because that is kind of the downside to Wings of Sacred Dawn is you are held in place and you don't get to make use of the mobility that you otherwise could. So you can kind of balance the two if you're on your game. Showing that you can, if you start to strafe one direction in the air, you let off of the jump button and Twilight Garrison a different direction and then hit your double jump again, that you actually have some pretty good momentum that you can follow through with. Also showing that you can swap weapons and still proc Tome of Dawn. Just like that. And by constantly rescoping in and floating around, you can actually wait out the Icarus Dash duration and do it again. Granted, you'll be really close to the ground normally, but you know, in certain maps or areas, it can be useful. Uh, thanks for watching, and yeah, have a good day, people.